Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, The Convergence. Previously, we stormed right into the undead settlement and cleared about mm, maybe like 30-35% of the area. And along the way, we glimpsed the boss, and it's brand new, some sort of druid guy, I think. At least that's my best educated guess, because he has a green wolf ghost pet, and... I associate green with druidism in this mod. And we also got a aromancy spell scroll which taught me two new spells. Cloud form which makes me fast as heck for free and lets me regenerate stamina and cast spells faster and take no fall damage. And air blade which well does this. Oh yeah that's neat. I actually wanted to test if I can fire it through walls. I can! Right, unlike Gust, this does go through walls. Oh, I need to keep that in mind. There is unbelievable cheese I could pull off with that, man. Okay. Dang. Right, so. Let's hop right back in there into the dilapidated bridge. Oh, Silver Night Sword. Lovely weapon. Love that thing in Dark Souls 1. Anyway, so I would say the Undead Settlement is divided into three parts. The left side, which is what we did last video, a middle, and a right side. So I think we should start with the middle here. And yeah, I think I my, my best shot here is to start with this. Let's go through here. Ooh, hey buddy. All right, all right. Let's take you out with melee. Get a pop cloud form. Ooh. Right, I need to mind how this constant sprinting is gonna result in me doing uh, sprinting attacks. Wow. Ah, I think that was a counter hit he landed on me for that sound effect. Man, I I don't really like how cloud form feels in melee combat. Um, I just feel it, it feels loose. I don't feel like I have as much control. Man, it's crazy how much movement speed can really change how Souls games feel. Okay, any giant rats here? Yes. Oh my god, that range, that pierce, oh I'm in love, I love the spell, that's so good. Blood bite ring, if I have any trouble with enemies inflicting bleed on me, I know what to equip. Unless the mod made something new with that, let's see. Oh, bleed immunity. That's not just bleed resistance, that's bleed immunity. Oh, that's pretty freaky. Okay. And I never did look at the flame stone plate ring, did I? Increases fire damage absorption by 65%. Okay, um, how much does this increase dex by? Still five. Okay, okay. I, I Even... If I think I know what something is, I need to read the description. Oh my god, just by equipping that, I'm resisting 74% of all fire damage. Oh my god, Demon Ruins is gonna be comically easy. You can just walk on the lava all the time. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Gosh. Oh wait, I should just, I should see if that door on the side is open. Um, this tunnel, with this door here, oh, is it locked? It is, I can't even open it. I wasn't going to go in anyway. That takes me to the right side of the map, and we want to save the right side for last. Still got this middle portion to do, and we're kind of going at it backwards. Okay. Whoa. Combat happening over there? Is that that Irithyll knight I saw? Yes! Okay, that dude, I don't 
want to mess around with, so I'm just gonna spam your spells from over here. Okay, top up. And he's dead. Oh, no regrets there. Irithyll Knights are the worst. Okay. I'll bait you into a nice attack. I can punish. Your fire hug, please. There you go. Thanks. Give me that butt. Oh, you think that'll work again, do you? I think not. I'm still alive, huh? Finish ya. Um... Okay. Oh, I see an item in the Pyromancer Trainer's cage. Yeah, he's just still in Firelink, so he's not there. That makes sense. Um... Well, there's the pathway to the boss. God, that Irithyll Knight didn't drop anything. That makes me think it might respawn. If so, I'm never coming back here again. Oh! Irithyll's straight sword. Infused with dark. Yeah, I, I guess they would, in this mod, make frost dark. Wow, it inflicts 40 frostbite. Not bad. Hmm. I've never really made, like, a frostbite build. Even in base Dark Souls 3. Might be the time to do that. Ah, there is an item. Broken Manacle. Didn't we get one of those earlier? Yeah, I have three now. Yeah, Clan of Giants. That's That's gotta be another Covenant. Wait, what? They added a little... <gasps> okay, that ladder and that bridge is new. That's... It's a back door into, like, the upper portion of the right area. Oh my god, I love this mod and what it did to this area. They added so many new interconnecting paths. Wow. Like, okay. Uh, this is probably the most complex area in Dark Souls 3 to explore. I know it like the back of my hand, because I've played through it so many times. But I have to imagine a brand new player who's never touched Dark Souls 3, if they made this mod their first experience with it, they, their, their brains would melt. Wait a second. I see you. Hanging item. Hello. Well, that's probably going to be something good. Hmm. Okay. Don't see any enemies nearby. Is there still a hanging um, thrall? No, that's a doggy. Hey, buddy. I lost lock on. Okay, that is the danger of trying to cheese enemies through walls. My spell may be able to shoot through walls, but my lock on cannot persist through walls. It's a delicate dance I must perform. The cheese must be earned. Can I... Can I... Why do you have so much damage taken already? Hmm. I was about to snipe you with some spells, but... Well, I could probably finish you off. Yeah, let's do that. God, the spell's so fast it doesn't matter how, which direction they run. Oh, you dropped something? Fine. I'll hop down. Immune to fall damage. Dash on over, get the item. Like elixir. Uh, looks like there's crabs down there. It's such a large, conspicuous open area. If I were a modder, I'd put something nasty in there that'll, like, appear when I walk in. But we'll see about that later. So where the hell is that gonna drop if I shoot it down? You might be angry to throw that at me, or not. Okay. My spell speed, or cast speed, is so good. I feel good about sneaking in a pot shot from neutral. 
Like, if the enemy's just doing nothing, I feel confident in firing off a spell. <sighs> God. This one spell school, Aromancy, is just so cool. I cannot wait to see what they did to the other spells. Like, you know, I just... What does Judy's, Judas and Magic even look like? I, I saw that water dart spell. Like, man, I... Uh, wait. They put giant arrows here. Is the archer gonna support me? Yeah, they moved the tree! Hey! That's archer friend at work for ya. Excellent. Thanks, buddy. Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh, storm debris. Wonderful. This has to be so related to Aromancy Man. Can't wait to see what it's about. Another broken manacle. Yep, that's that new fangled stupid bridge. Look at that. It's so... ugh. Anywho. Um... Alright, any... Oh, there's a thrall, maybe. Some enemy. Hold on, hold on. I can... I can kill you from here. Yeah, that's a thrall. <laughs> okay. Uh, freestyle aim? Or not. Yeah, whatever that thing is, it's weak, but I can't finish it off from here. Caduceus Round Shield. Or is it Caduceus? I, I, I can't figure out how to pronounce C's in Greek. Um, wasn't there a hanging body? Hello? Where'd the... Oh my god. It... Oh... Okay. <laughs> I, I guess it has to load in. <laughs> if we get close enough. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, ease myself off edges. I have to just go sprint full tilt. That's pretty bad. Oh yes, undead bone shard. My Estus will heal more. Okay, uh, let's see about clearing out enemies here. Oh, that's a lot of explosive barrels. <laughs> Lovely. You thought you could? Yeah, you. I saw you. You were about to angle for throwing fire bombs. <laughs> I gotcha though. Herald Curve Sword, and what what is that infusion? No. Pure physical. No scaling whatsoever. Wielded by warriors of the Herald Legion who sought the Dark Soul. That's new lore. The swords sank into the dark with the legion, where their blades were severely corroded. I should... I should look at this. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's a curved sword. That's like a non-windy version of my own. Oh well, oh well. Also, I should look at the freaking cleric armor. I never did do that. Yeah, boosts faith. I figured as much. Um, all right. Let's see about that hanging item. I'm gonna show you a little classic trick. Let's bring out the binoculars. This actually lets you aim really well at spells. Or not. Okay, maybe Firebomb will do the trick. <clears throat> Doesn't go high enough. Oh, this could be trouble. I wonder if I have a bow on me. Oh, nearly, nearly. Need to angle to the left. Yes! Oh, perfect falling place, too. Oh, the partisan, they moved it over. 
Yeah, you usually get it from a hanging body around here, but they made it harder to get. Alright. Alright. No enemies up here? Yeah, usually there are firebomb throwers, aren't there? But there aren't. <gasps> Ooh! Excuse me! <laughs> oh yeah. That feels so satisfying. <laughs> Looks like we're safe. Charred band. That screams pyromancy. Boost all fire damage by 10. Okay. Wait, so that... Didn't I see that that door over there doesn't open from this side? If so, I'm kind of upset by that. Please let this open. Ah, cripes. Dang it. I'm gonna have to backtrack so much to get over there. Oh, that sucks. Well... Maybe we can just touch to the right side now, anyway. Alright, get over here, you. Oh! Glancing blow. You were nearly about to throw that at me. That could have ended poorly. Still haven't gotten a refill on Estus. Is that a ladder? The hell's there a ladder there for? Well, <gasps> NPC? Battle Mage Eden? Hello? You fighting dudes? But... You're an enemy, right? Hi. Whoa! <gasps> You're an aeromancer. Hey! Hey, can we be friends? Okay. Oh. Oh, you're... Oh! Big ladder. You're fighting dudes. Ow. Okay. Okay, that that's confirmation that Gust can travel. Uh, seek. This is a stupid Aeromancer battle. <laughs> okay, maybe it'd be better if I close the distance on this guy. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, cloud form. Bum rush up. I don't know what spell that was. Okay, you got curved sword. Don't you dare heal. Hey, hey. I see you. Okay. Can't escape. I'm faster than you. Hey, you stop that. Okay, my sword's buffed, doing more damage. Okay, cloud form ran out. I did not know that my running power attack could do a cool flippy spin. Oh my god, I can sprint while Estus sing? Cloud forms are the best. Okay. Hiya! Uh oh. Oh, you buffed your spell, that's not good. Oh. Well fought. Oh, you dropped my own starting gear. Man, that was that guy was tough. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Well, with this, if this is open, I can backtrack and go through that tunnel that leads to where that locked door was. I, I guess I'll start with this. Side sword of the Crusader. Oh, that's badass. What is that? 
Not faith, of course. Crusader stance. Unlock the holy power of the blade and attack with either a thrusting projectile or perform a prayer that releases a great holy shockwave. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, alright, so... Actually, low on Estus here. I was hoping I'd get a refill. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's... A ladder and the... Oh, my God, it... That goes to the upper portion of the middle that I couldn't get because that other door was locked. Oh. Wow. What the hell? Oh, there's an item. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Gonna get up here, gonna get that item. Oh, I need to go even higher, don't I? I hear a thrall. Oh my god, my head's spinning. There's so much goddamn things to do. We're good? I think we're good. Okay, no item on that. Oh, well, hello, friend. Yeah, okay. I can lock on to you, which usually means you're an enemy, but... Yes, it's as it is in the base game. You're neutral. And in fact, if I go to your back, I can examine. You see that? Now, if I did that, I would climb into his cage, and I would be teleported to a cavern underneath the boss arena. That would take away a lot of my progress I've made here in this level, so... Um... Let's not. Okay. Let's see. Where's that item? Okay, here's... Here's the deal. If I use Cloud Form to negate fall damage, I'm gonna, actually just gonna sprint clean off that edge into the abyss, so... It's time. Fall Control Potion. Good. Etched Spellblade. That's new. I still hear a thrall. Somewhere. Um. Right. Etched, etched Spellblade. Dagger. Oh, that we saw this in a loading screen, didn't we? Increases physical damage by 10%. I need to test that immediately. Okay. Okay, move the Uchi here for the sake of Lager's ring. Etch Spellblade. Okay, next enemy I find is gonna be my pincushion target dummy. That, if, if I'm right, it might increase the damage of my spells. Maybe. Oh, there's rats here, aren't there? Okay. Might be a better idea to just rush through. Rats? Maybe dexterous little buggers, but they can't climb ladders. Okay, we're safe for now. Let's see, anything gonna attack me here? Perfect. I angled you the wrong way, buddy. You can't flee. Nice. Ebony Titanite Shard. Probably for dark. Okay, let's see. Where, where's a rat? Okay. Let's see. And I fell. I didn't see how much damage I did. Crap. 457. Now I quit my spell blade. There's another rat. Come on, buddy. I need to lock onto you. 504! That added nearly 50 damage. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's 10%. So I just need to whip out this dagger anytime I'm gonna go on a casting frenzy. I see. Okay, there's more rats. Oh, 
Oh, this mod is a lot. It is a lot, but I am having the time of my life. It's like playing through a brand new Souls game, and that is always a special experience. This is the best. I see a dude. Fallen Knight Zath. Okay. Let's clear out this area first before we get his attention. You gonna attack me? Okay. There's some crabs. Oh, I'm predicting a giant crab bursting out from the dirt. Yeah, look at that damage increase. That added 40. Titanite Shard. Ring of Favor! Oh, that could be really good. Okay. Um, God, what would I have replace? Probably Sage Rain, honestly. Um, increases HP, Stamina, Max Equip Load. Let's see, about how much? Oh. That's... Absolutely minuscule. Well, if that's percentage-based, maybe that'll be better at endgame. We'll, we'll stick with what, what we got now. Right, so I have my spell blade, and I can buff my staff. Now, let's see about killing this Zath fella. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty dang good damage. I think he... yeah, he has a crossbow. <laughs> Some fight you were. Valor Heart. Oh, you usually need to beat an, uh, a super hard optional boss and run the DLCs for that? Oh, wow. Yeah, just like my Eagle of Light, this is also a paired weapon. Sword and shield? Of course, this is B and B scaling. Ah, damn. Oh, wow. Man, for as good as magic is, melee builds are eating good in this mod. Alright. Probably be better suited to keep my sword out. Necromancer's Dagger. Let's check that. Once an offering of Nido's Faithful. You know, I wonder, if I equip the, the spell blade in my left hand, would that boost the damage of my melee weapon? Oh, Grave Gem. Not useful for t to me, probably. That's worth testing. Once I get to Firelink, I'll test that out on the training dummy. Okay, lots of dudes. Let's back off. Probably gonna be corralled in this tunnel. Make some easy pickings for spells. Nice. Oh, at last Estus recharge. Have one more sip. Oh, short bow. Okay. I feel like there's going to be one more skeleton at least. Oh, there's a ladder up to this. Can I open this from the other side, perhaps? It would be a really nice shortcut. It's locked. Crap, I'm going to have to backtrack quite a bit. Which isn't going to be so bad with Cloudform. Necromancer's Tome. Oh, this is a great place for that. Yep, learn necromancy spells. Neat. And this is still a statue of Velka? Yes. Okay, absolution and dissolution. As I thought, if I ever accidentally make a friendly NPC mad, talk to that statue, everything's fixed. So, I guess from here I need to backtrack a bit. 
<sighs> well, this tower is pretty self-contained. Like, it does lead to a whole new, brand new area, but it also lets me go up and then to the left, up above on that cliffside, and that's its whole thing. In the meantime, if I take this ladder, I can completely finish up the middle portion of the zone. So let's do that real quick. Okay, there's probably going to be lots of thralls sniping from the rooftop, so I'll take this carefully. Shoot my spell through the wall where I can. Into my spell blade. Okay. I don't like this. I'm about to plunge into this. I'll be in the thick of it if there are enemy enemies like the you. Hello. Okay, I just made a lot of dudes very mad. Not not good. Okay, there's one dead. Any others? Ah, cripes. Okay, well they're weak enough, I should probably finish them with melee. Oh. Oh, I just... Oh, I think I just made some dudes mad from way clear over there. Okay. Downside of Airblade, I might accidentally make distant enemies mad. Um... Well, I think we're safe from here. Oh! I hear a thing. You! That could sneak up on me, huh? I thought not. Blood Oath Rapier. Ooh. Okay, dudes are killing each other. That's fine by me. Um. Yeah, that's dark. Nice crit damage, too. Hmm. Anything up here on this roof? Get a good view as well. Ooh. Yep, you're a dude. <gasps> no! I didn't... Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> no! Oh, what was I just saying? I could make people mad that I don't want to be mad. Oh, no. Oh, that, that's not good at all. Hopefully if I rested a bonfire, he'll forgive me and I can hop in his cage. Like, honestly, in the base game, once you fight the boss that's there, the great rotted greatwood, the floor caves away and you end up in the cavern anyway, but if they replace that boss with just some dude with his green wolf ghost, maybe that NPC there in the cage, uh, with the cage, is the one and only way for me to get to that cavern. That would be really bad. If I made that dude mad, mm. Okay, well, hey, buddy. Another Nana disappeared. It's a grand thing carries a cage. He's yeah, this guy's weird. He's just, he's just, he's just here to talk. He serves no purpose whatsoever, other than to speak at you. So he does drop some nice souls. So. I'll just use a spell. Okay. Okay, now you're an enemy. You throw dung balls at me? Rude. Oh. I'm using my dagger, of course. Crap. Literally crap, actually. <laughs> oh, you dropped an item! Head cage! Head cage? No, is this... Oh, my god. Minus 50 absorption versus thrust damage. 
gives you a chance to get random consumable drops upon enemies' death. It's like, um... Oh, God, what's his name? Uh... The guy in Bloodborne, in the Nightmare of Mensis. The boss fight, the dude with the cage on his head. That's... It's just like that. That's pretty great. Okay, definitely want to kill you two. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Lots of dudes coming my way real quick here. Run. Oh. Ah, I think we're good, maybe. Ah, there's that lock on disappearing. Alright. We'll just take you out. Drop attack. Or not. Speaking of attacks, yeah, I should test that. Running strong attack. Oh, yep, yep, that's that's what I saw against that other aeromancer. Oh, that's so cool. God. Sword's the best. Um Alright, there's that evangelist walking around. Oh, sharp gem, that's for dexterity infusions. Right, we're good. Now at last we can check what's in here. An enemy. Tanky boy, aren't ya? <sighs> For the first time in a long time, I think I can actually take a moment to breathe. It's been tense so far. Oh! Bonfire? Don't mind if I do. Okay. <sighs> Let's have a sit. Well, no. No, no sit just yet. I need to get one item. That. Hanging right there. Nearly missed it. Saw it at the last moment there as I was walking towards that bonfire. Okay. So it should just be a matter of walking onto these roofs and... Looking for a way to drop down. From here, and... Yeah, there it is. Oh, one singular firebomb. Right, okay. Well then. Um... I kind of actually want to backtrack all the way to the tower. The, yeah, the giant archer's tower. Let's go in there while the enemies are cleaned out. Or maybe it'd be better if I climbed into the cage. If he'll let me. Nope, you're still aggro. I need to rest at a bonfire. Okay. Let's flee. Hurry down that ladder. Oh god, I hope that, that cage guy doesn't run off the cliff. Surely has more preservation than that. Surely. Okay. Item. Whoa! Hey! Hoomstiv! Why did I just get souls? That wasn't Big Cage Man, was it? Uh, okay, one thing at a time, Zephyr. Okay, who? Hmm. Another one of those oh, you're, oh, you're, um, oh, what's her face is guardian. Okay, they just moved you a bit. Okay. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Where's Ziegbird? Ziegbird? Mod, what have you done to my boy Ziegbird? Ah, crap, that goes up right away. Crap. I thought it would take me down. I wanna, well, actually, maybe there's a bonfire down here, so... I should actually head down here first. Yeah, let's do that. If there is a bonfire, 
It'll be the fastest way to the cage guy, for sure. Bonfire! Excellent. You know what? I'll absolutely have a rest. And I can level up as well. Um... You know what? It'd be better if I head back to Firelink. I have a bone shard to burn. Morian Spear? Yo. <laughs> Only with a Morian Sword, but Spear? That's neat. Um, Alright, so I did get a Necromancy Tome. Let's see what new spells you have. Let's see. Okay, these four. Give. A book of the mighty Gravelord. Such flesh you shall wield, Ashen One. I shall show you the techniques of summoning these minions, but it is your strength alone that will actuate them. Neat. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Putrid fumes. The vapors of death. Wow. Lowering, lowers the enemy's magic defense and weakening their attacks for 30 seconds? Damn. Oh, wow. Draining the HP of enemies nearby? Plague Strike. Concentrated miasmic ball at enemies. Lowers magic defense and weakens their attack power. Turn undead. Makes an en enemy undead an ally. Knit? Restore a large amount of HP to your summoned minions and allies. Damn. Okay. Call Thrall. Hollow Manservant. Oh, it's like one of the big pot dudes. Cool. Revel. Neat. All right. All right. All right. Now, Andre, what can you do for me? Any upgrades? What? Okay. Oh, no Estes Shard. I thought I had one. Um, oh, I need one more Twinkling Titanite. And my current staff needs a large Etched Titanite Shard. I need, um, need to kill a strong boss to get those. Stronger than the ones I've fought so far, I think. Okay. Um, I think that might be it. So, Bonfire, Bone Shard... And level up. Yeah, let's do that. Right, my third attunement slot. We'll start with that for sure. And from there, intelligence. I want more power. Well, maybe it'd be better if I got more health. Nah, I crave power. Okay. Um, could do with storing some stuff, but I'll do that between videos. Uh, right. Church of Sacrifices, okay. Now, can I open this way forward? I can. Okay. That door is just a formality. Oh! You think you can fire at me? Fire back at you. Why am I going through here? This is the pathway to a brand new area. What am I doing? Uh, at least I'll, I'll just check out this room. Yeah, there's an item. I'll, I'll get that item. Why not? Nice. Mortician's Ashes! Oh, here I was thinking that the... Um, handmade lady. Um, had her full inventory. She'll make new items. Oh. Okay, next time I'm at Firelink, we'll go there. Road of Sacrifices. This name has not changed. Wow, these dudes have a lot of HP. Actually... I'm trying to think of it, I'm hitting these dudes with my sword for 500 damage. 
Uh, that's the kind of damage I'd expect from an end game. What the frick is going on with the shadows? That's the kind of damage I'd expect from an end game fully upgraded ultra great sword. The damage values in this mod are quite a bit higher, I think. Um, is that a door? That's a door. Maul of the Dead. That's a weapon, I think. Yeah. It's a great hammer. Is that a, is that a skull on a stick? Hold on. That's a skull on a stick. Okay. Wow. What's it actually do? Miasmic uproar. Spew out miasmic fumes upon foes. <laughs> is that a door? I don't remember that. Enter the catacombs of Carthus. What? Okay, that's an area I'm not supposed to be in for quite a long time. Like, at bare minimum, I have to go through two whole new areas to get to that, even. That's three areas away. And also, I don't want to do that anyway, because Yol, the man in Fire Link who's going to give me free level ups, he'll die if I go in there. Entering catacombs is the cutoff point for his death, or maybe it's just beating the um, um, watchdogs. Oh my god. Is that... Okay, I'm gonna file that one away. We'll get back to that. Oh, baby. Okay. Um... Alright, so... While I'm in the area... I'll start by sending this, this back down. While I'm in the area... I'm gonna use cloud form. I'm gonna... Um... Climb up the ladders. Real quick. Ow. You should die. If I can reach you. Ah, crap. Right, so I'm gonna... As I said, I'm gonna climb up these ladders, enter that cage, just real quick. I want to go down to the underground cavern. That's a nice little dead end that is good to clean off. Right, hey buddy, get me in there. I call shenanigans, that cage wasn't that full. Wait, how am I- wait. <laughs> okay, that's- that's probably a glitch. <laughs> Gotta love- Wait, what? Okay, gotta love esoteric weird souls bullshit. Green? Green. This is all new. Um. Oh yeah, there's a mound maker dude. He's still here. Recognize that helmet. The Conclave. That's a covenant for druids, isn't it? Druidic Conclave of Vinheim, a medallion of green eye metal, dirt stained and bearing the inscription of essence. Druids learned to control the very essence of energy of life, and though such a magic was shunned in Vinheim, those that discovered it were not. Increase max HP, uh, FP by 5%, collection of essence shards from enemies. And essence shards are, yeah, this green, yeah, material. Okay. 
I thought so. Pray to the great spirit tree. Purchase item. Oh, well, hello. Wow. Okay, hello. Buy essence shards for arcane crystals. Oh my god, this is... Yeah, okay. So, Assassin's Brotherhood for dexterity. This great tree for druids. Yo. Unleash a powerful stream of water. Water surge. Essence shatter. Oh, man. Life weaving. Cover your body in radiant life crystals. Uh, boosting damage and defense and slowly healing yourself in nearby summons? Lasts for 60 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, what? You can summon one of them giant crystal lizards. An elder crew. Oh, my God. That's overpowered as hell. Living crystal bardiche. Yo. Crown of the Con Conclave. That's a wolf helmet. Reduces FP consumption of conjurations by 6%. Increases magic damage by 2%. Increases FP and stamina regeneration rate. Oh, wow. Holy hell, dude. Druids have a lot going on. Hot ah, damn. Okay, what's your story, friend? Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows. Mm -hmm. or... Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, indeed. It, it yes, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beware, human. Vertebra shackle. Come yep, that's see. Mound Maker, all right. Wait, so where's the real Mound Maker covenant then? Usually the mound makers are right here, but this tree's here instead. You'll go, man. Take me. All right, there's my way out. Ah, right. Okay. Um. Yep. Last bonfire. Frozen memory. Some icy shards that seek your foes. Okay. Well. Hmm. Not quite enough time left in the video to go up to the top of the tower, I think. So instead, why don't we um, finish off one loose end back in the high wall? Let's see. But yeah, back to the fallen wyvern. There was an Irithil knight that I ran away from. Corvian great blade. Whoa. Okay, from here, just a simple matter of hopping down a bit. I'll kill this dude in my way. And you, I remember you too. Oh, we're one-shotting these things now. Wow, do you remember when we first came through here? I was barely two-shotting them, just barely! Wow, we've, we've gotten more powerful, haven't we? Okay. Uh, time for some bullshit. Okay. Maybe it'd be better if I went in there with him. Okay, cloud form. Wish me luck. Oh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I need to aim. That's a thing I need to do. Okay, one hit. Nearly frostbit. I hate this enemy. I hate it. Oh my god, I forgot Cloudform lets me sprint in Estus. That's the best. Okay. Oh, staggered him just in time. Oh. Okay. Half spells. Nope. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm frostbit. My cloud from ran out right when I was trying to spin away. <laughs> ha! 
<sighs> oh wow, I got I got a hollow's remains. I usually need to kill a boss for that and Irithyll dagger. God damn right that thing's a boss. God. Oh. Sharp gem and red eye orb. Oh, maybe this is what I needed for um, Mr. Edgy McWallin to come back to Firelink. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. God. Damn. Okay. I hate Irithyll Knights. I hate Irithyll Knights. I hate Irithyll Knights. Let's head back to Firelink and have ourselves a good old rest. God. Man. Jeez. Speaking of resting, I should have tuned my spells. I got a third slot. What am I doing? Let's, let's bring back Gust. The utility of it. Okay. Maelstrom Razor? Oh. I need it. I don't know what that was, but I need it. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god. So many things I want. You are back. Hey. Well, remember you're making Leonard, it. that's right. Help me carving. Because if you fancy then he is like Okay. If you fancy a proper red eye, then kill the dark wraith. Survivor he is back. Right, that Okay, that dark wraith was replaced by um replaced by the Irithel knight we just killed. So hopefully he'll recognize that I have the red eye orb. Um. If you fancy a proper enemy, I, I think I need to reload the area. All right, that'll just take a moment. I'll warp somewhere, then warp right back. I can't travel from this one? Uh, okay. God, that's annoying. Capra's paired machetes. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, Leonard. Now you talk to me. He's gone. Well, for God, screw that guy. Okay, how's Yol? Yol still alive? He's he's fine. Okay. Oh baby, okay. Let's have a rest. Jeez. We can level up. Get a bit more intelligence going, I think. Yes, that'll do nicely. I think I'll bring intelligence to thirty, and from there, definitely more vigor. For sure. Oh wow, okay, well. I would say we're now about mm, maybe 80 or 80, no, maybe 90 percent done with the undead settlement. Um, just the place up above the tower, and then we can go fight the boss. So, next video is going to be extremely exciting. And man, there was really a just a door that'll take me to catacombs of Carthus. I, wow, I, I really can't believe it's real. Oh, man. So, let one last thing before we end this video, I think. I want to test if the spell blade will actually improve the damage of my sword, so let's do that real quick. So, we'll take one swing here. 111. Now, with the spell blade in my left hand... 122. Yep, that's a 10% increase. Wow, so this spell blade is actually good even if... Am I holding it backwards? Oh, that's neat. Cool. Um, <laughs> This spell blade is actually really damn good even for a pure melee build. Let's see if I two-hand it. Okay, 120, 
132. Oh my god, yeah. A melee specific build can just pop that in their left hand and two hand some other weapon and just deal 10% more damage. That is pretty bonkers. Oh, wow. Of course, I do prefer it boosting this the damage of my um, my spells more. Yeah. Oh wow. So that'll do it. We got an exciting adventure ahead of us, don't we? I am so eager to fight that boss because it's gonna be something entirely brand new. I have no idea what to expect from that boss fight. Oh, I feel an electricity in the air. I'm excited, so hope you are too. In the meantime, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Dark Souls 3 The Convergence. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please take care. <laughs>